Is The Flash the best DC movie? Let's find out in my non-spoiler review right now. Are you ready? Ready. Let's go. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the review of The Flash. Of course, non-spoiler, The Flash follows Barry Allen, aka The Flash, as worlds collide, and he has to travel back in time to change the events of the past. However, when his attempt to save his family alters the future, he becomes trapped in a reality where General Zod has returned, threatening life on Earth. With no other superheroes to turn to, Flash looks to coax a very old Batman out of retirement and rescue an imprisoned Kryptonian, and not the one he's looking for. All right, so yeah, that's the basic plot. If you've seen the trailers, this is basically a Flashpoint movie without a Superman, but a Supergirl played by Sasha Cali. And it's kind of that simple, but in the third act, you get a little more exposition, a little more what's happening. But overall, the plot worked for me. I'm a big Flashpoint fan. I watched the Flashpoint animated movie for the first time this year, along with other animated movies of D DC, the new 52 universe. And I really enjoyed him a lot. And the Flashpoint movie is one of my favorites out of all of those. I think it's a great story. And I just loved how everything worked in that story. Like the whole going back in the past, everything's changed. And I loved how Barry had to get back his powers and all that with an old Batman. And how they like used all those little changes and how it all worked. Especially with Batman's parents and his mom became the Joker. I thought that's fantastic so i was going into this with pretty mild mild expectations i would say because i didn't know what to, what to expect i mean from my trailer reactions the uh, trailers got me hyped as every trailer does but i didn't know what to expect from this story andy muschietti directed this and let's just say he did a great job he really did a great job with what he had to work with here and i feel like everything basically worked for me uh except the first act the first act was a little messy in my opinion i think it could have been worked on but honestly the second and third act really did shift it into a different gear that felt like an andy muschietti film and i really enjoyed it a lot and uh let's just get to our cast here ezra miller is the star of this film ezra miller has a lot of issues off screen right now we're not going to talk about those Th that doesn't belong in a movie review we're talking about the movie everyone else's work here so let's talk about ezra miller I think Miller did a fantastic job here. They are just amazing on the screen as The Flash. Uh, they play uh, Barry 1 and Barry 2, I guess I can call them that. That just makes it a little bit easier for me. I was first introduced to Ezra Miller while watching Perks of Being a Wallflower, and they are amazing in that movie. So great. And uh, I think Ezra Miller, I think that their acting here really does work a lot because they're playing against themselves they're different like iterations of themselves because he goes back in time and meets the other barry allen and one barry allen is like really silly while the other one has dealt with a lot of loss because his mom has died and his dad's in prison for supposedly killing his mom but you know they're very different and i think ezra miller plays them both so well i give them so many props for this they're great in this let's just say that it's their movie and i think they do a great job with this movie uh sasha cali appears as supergirl uh kara i think is her name yeah kara kara is her name i kind of get them mixed up a little bit because i keep they say kal-el a lot so i kind of forget it's kara and i think sasha cali is fantastic in this i would have liked so much more of her in this movie i I really do feel like she just brings a whole different level to this. Like, she's so different than Henry Cavill's Superman, and I really enjoyed what she brought to it, especially during her fight scenes in the third act. And her emotion, is she she brought some good emotion here. And I really, well, I wanted to see more of her in this movie. I'm sad that we didn't get a lot from her. She's not really in it for that much. She shows up, like, uh, halfway through, and but she's not in it for that much more. I don't know how she's not I'm not I'm not gonna get into spoilers here, but she's not in it for as much as I wanted her to be in it. But then we get to the main man, Michael Keaton himself, our Batman. I have not seen Michael Keaton's Batman movies. I was gonna go watch them before the flash, but I got invited to an early screening, so I didn't have time. But I I honestly love Michael Keaton here. He really he's awesome. Michael Keaton's just awesome in what he does. I'm gonna watch the Batman movies though. I'm gonna get real into it before I see this movie again, because I'm going again. This was awesome. But Michael Keaton really works here. I was worried because it's an old Batman. What are you going to do with him? But he he does a lot here. He's so cool. He has some very humorous moments at parts. 
And I think everyone in the cast really did carry their weight. They were all amazing. Emotion levels were off the charts here. I want to talk about the action a little bit. So with the Flash movie, you expect a lot of action, a lot of slow motion action. And I'm I'm actually going to say we got it. We got lots of action in this movie. There's actually a pretty funny action scene in the beginning of the first act. It's where the Flash has to save a lot of babies from a hospital. It's pretty funny. And then we have a great Russia action scene. You haven't seen that too much from the trailers. But I'm not going to go into that until I get to the spoiler review. But that's a great action scene. And the third act is really cool. But my, my lord, there's too much of a plain background in the third act. Like, if you've seen the trailers, the third act is basically the desert stuff. And I think that just, that just doesn't look great against like a lot of action scenes like you can't have that little plane environment you're fighting in. it just makes the vfx stand out way too much and i just did not like where they're fighting but i did love the fight scenes with the flash with the both of the flashes fighting together teaming up i love that a lot i love sasha cali fighting and michael keaton he was so cool in that final act he was really awesome but let's get to the vfx which is in our bad department of this review there's tons of VFX in this movie and 75% of it is really iffy, let's say. And I saw the finished version of this movie and man, a lot of it just didn't work for me. I try to look past VFX, but a lot of it just doesn't work and a lot of it's quantum mania level bad. So I was pretty dis disappointed by that since I've worked on this movie for so long. But you know, I can look past it a little bit. I just feel like some of those flash slow motion action scenes just do not look great so if you're expecting top-notch vfx in this movie they're not there you know some some scenes the vfx looks great but just some parts it just does not look great which is kind of sad to hear because we have a great story on our hands we have a great flashpoint arc in our hands and vfx just wasn't there for this movie which i'm kind of sad about but on to the scores the soundtrack uh there's not many really songs in this movie for a soundtrack but the score was really good, uh, especially the comeback of the Michael Keaton legendary score that he has as his Batman. But other than that, there's not really too much, too many special things about the score, especially Barry's theme. I wasn't really into his theme too much during this movie, so it's not like a score I'll go back to like a Guardians of the Galaxy, like a Spider-Verse, like an Avengers theme. It's not really like that hype, so I won't really go back to it, but it's good. And Michael Keaton's score carried the movie, in my opinion. But... Uh, Runtime and pace, it's two hours and 30 minutes, I think. Uh, like, I feel like this is actually a really fast-paced movie, especially when you get to the second and third act. Those are my favorite parts of the movie. But the first act felt a little slow, in my opinion. I felt like the first act was a little sloppy, not my kind of, not my kind of thing for what the first act is, and I'll get more into my issues in the spoiler review, but I think the second and third act, uh, the pace is really good. So overall, I don't have an issue with the runtime. I have an issue with the first act pace. So overall, I actually really enjoyed this movie a lot. You know, Flashpoint is one of my favorite Flash stories, and I had a great time with this movie. I think Andy Muschietti directed the hell out of this one. I would love to see him direct The Brave and the Bold with a better VFX team. And I just got to say, this is a great film. It's, it's not the best DC film. It's not one of the best uh, superhero movies. I don't know why people keep saying that, but it's a great DC film. It's a great superhero movie. Uh, I feel like a lot of people are going to like this. It's a real big crowd pleaser kind of movie, but a lot of the VFX is unfinished and there's a fun post credit scene at the end, but it's not really anything special. It's we're getting rebooted with James Gunn. So don't expect really like a post credit scene to lead into the next movie. It's not really there. But overall, I had a great time with this one. I'm going to be seeing it again. So I'm going to give The Flash a 4 out of 5. You know, I would go check this out. I, I think it's a great time in the theater. And it's our third movie. Third superhero movie. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy was great. Across the Spider-Verse was great. And this one is great too. So we're on a streak right now. Hopefully Blue Beetle, our next superhero movie, can keep it up. Let me know what you guys thought The Flash down below in the comments. But I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.